Webb Telescope captured a giant fountain on Enceladus. Using the James Webb Space Telescope astronomers have detected a huge fountain of water gushing into space with Enceladus, Saturn's icy moon. This stream extends for about 10,000 kilometers. Nearly 20 years ago, the Cassini spacecraft discovered plumes water vapor emanating from gaps in the ice sheet of Enceladus, one from many moons of Saturn. Now the James Webb Telescope captures the largest a historically recorded stream of water ejected from the moon's geysers. A geyser on Enceladus threw water in the form of steam and ice in space at a distance of approximately 9,600 kilometers. That's a magnitude 20 times larger than Enceladus itself, which has a diameter of about 500 kilometers. It gave it to scientists unprecedented insight into how moon geysers can deliver material to Saturn's ice rings. Geysers detected on Enceladus in 2005 proved that this moon is not a solid, frozen ball. Under its shell is liquid ocean. Liquid water can exist due to the heat generated by Saturn's gravity. And where there is liquid water, there can be life question about life on the moon remains open because it breaks through kilometers of ice far from Earth is not possible at this time. In 2011, scientists discovered that Enceladus was not the only one actively ejects water into space. Its geysers generate scattered in a fuzzy ring of microscopic frozen particles, consisting mainly of made of ice, silicates, carbon dioxide, and ammonia. Enceladus orbits Saturn relatively quickly, in just 33 hours explains study CEO author Gonzalo Villeneuve. When it circulates like this around Saturn, its jets basically spit out water, leaving behind halo. Not only was the plume huge in Webb's observations, but there was water absolutely everywhere emphasizes. Data on Enceladus are from November 2022. The telescope then managed to capture a huge plume coming from geyser. Thanks to the data obtained, researchers calculated that the geyser on the moon had ejected water vapor at a speed of 300 liters per second. Despite this, scientists believe that at the modern level plume techniques are too diffuse to detect possible signs in them life. Despite this, research on Saturn's moon will continue. Soon the James Webb Telescope will turn again to Enceladus. Scientists will look for traces of life on it.
Thank you.